Bran has taken him himself. Bran is trying to bring peace to the realm. He knows these men fought for his, his brother, but he must bring peace to the realm. High Lord of North Clans. Okay, Arrow Forester. Let's have a look. Educate. Who could we get? Talia. Let's try Talia for you then. Robin. Let's go for Talia. Talia can train you. And we'll do one at, we'll do the next one good at numbers and the next one good at like probably intrigue. I don't want all of them being good at intrigue because that means they might try and take stuff from each other. Do you, if your wife pregnant, she's not pregnant. You need a son. Come on. It's not a big deal. We can marry the matrilineal, but it's still just annoying. She had a son. Ethan is still betrothed. That's going to take a while. But yeah, only ones that can really fight back. King's Course and uh, Barrowlands. Barrowlands have the best, best chance, but yeah, it's not looking good. We were probably the smart one, actually, it looks like now. We were definitely the smart one. How's the war going? Zero percent still. He's not fighting the Reach anymore. Looks like he gave in to the Reach. The Reach have taken Greenfield. And there we go. Excellent. Matrilineal. Perfect. There we go. We could see a Forester on the Iron Throne. And it did not involve scheming, manipulation, or anything. It just involved us being good bannermen. And a nice little marriage. But we wanted the we wanted the marriage with the Starks anyway. Roger Riswell has been released. Yep, there you go. Looks like all of the all of the traitors are being destroyed. The reeds the, the reeds are gone now. They gave in. Okay. We got the Umbers. Oh no. This is not good for the Northern Lords. Against Tywin of the Westerlands has ended inconclusively. Tywin has died. Tywin finally passed on from this world. A natural death at 67 years old. Not too bad. His wife is now widowed. So, uh, that is Cersei. Cersei, what's going on with you? Nothing. Okay. So Tyrion is now the heir. Um, no, he is now the Lord of the Westerlands. His daughter is a dwarf as well. And his wife's pregnant again. Wow. Okay. The seed is strong. Okay, there's a revolt in the Reach. He didn't give the dawn to anyone yet. And the Tarfs are now ruled in the Stormlands. Oh, his youngest daughter died. Ooh, he's in trouble. The Tarfs are in trouble. What will happen? Edmund's three sons. His is safe. Robert of the Vale has now come of age. But he's not got married yet. And we have Harold Aaron right there. Can we marry Harold Aaron? Do we actually have anyone to marry him to? Don't think so. They, they would marry... Matchley Neil? No. <laughs> Sadly, no. Marriage betrothal. Um, oh, my granddaughters. That might be a good choice. How about we try her? Yes. He would do that. Huh. Interesting. I could marry my granddaughter to Harold Aaron. So, Robert, he is weak. That does lower his health by minus one. Sutter probably doesn't lower health, no. Of course not. Slow? No. Well, he could die. And he's 17. He hasn't got married yet. Hmm. And he is attractive. Attractive would be good to have in our lineage. He has a bastard daughter. Hmm, this is difficult. I can't decide. I think we should just do it. I can just do the betrothal and we can wait and see. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. So we could have me, my heirs, as the rulers of the Vale, um, and Talia's ones will be rulers of the North. So we could have two Lord Paramounts, Forrester. Excellent. And there you go. Look, the rebels 
have all been defeated. You know what? You did a good job, Stefan. Probably thanks to uh, someone like Tyrion. Oh. Bran has declared war on me. This better not be what I think it is. But the region is now Varys. Varys is the region. That probably sounds bad. What's this? De jure. Excellent. We, we want that anyway. We want that. I'll just give in. Yeah, we'll just give in. Excellent. Uh, surrender. Becomes Lord Gregor's new liege. Excellent. Yeah, I want that. Okay, surrender. Thank you, Brandon, for bringing us back under your rule. It's exactly what I wanted. So now I'm directly under the Starks. Yeah. And he likes me. That's good. So we're directly under the Starks. Excellent. We pledge our allegiance, Starks. Forever until our last. You've been good to us. We're sorry about your brother. And your wife is 31. He actually might not have any kids. Ah. Huh. Excellent. Tally, are you pregnant? No. Okay. It's just like Daenerys, obviously, her war didn't go how she wanted. How's she doing then? Oh, wow. Zeko, there's a massive Carl. Okay, so she's uh, leading troops in crack calls still. Okay, so she's still in crack call. Let's have a look at her court. Um, anyone interesting? Raznak. She's not married either. Um, ah, Geris Drinkwater. Excellent. Uh, Gerion, Bella. No, no, no. No, no one particularly interested. No, uh, no Barristan Selmy. It's like Barristan died. She's had no kids. Oh, I've been put back under the glovers, it looks like. I'm just going to look for a marriage for her. Oh, she's too far away. Yeah, she's too distant. Okay. So I'm back under the glovers. Okay, fine. And you would like us... Um, my counsellor's Justice Seer. Huh. You want me to be Justice Seer? Okay, fine. Of course I will. God, Gregor is now 59. The Grand Feast will travel to the feast. Good for you, Glovers. The wars are almost over, it looks like. Soon we can all have peace. Yeah, so in the eyes of Gregor, it looks like we'll soon have peace. The Iron Front only has the Umbers left. They're almost done. Yeah, it looks like peace is coming. Apart from, obviously, the Iron Isles. So we still have the Iron Isles to deal with. Obviously, the Wildlings are still out there. There's still a lot of things to do. Okay. Excellent. Lovely feast. That's why I like the Clash of Kings scenario. It, just so many outcomes can happen. It's always kind of interesting. Plus, we know a lot of the characters in this scenario. You know, that's from the current era of the TV show and the books. So it's kind of nice to see that. Old Castle. One second. Hey guys, sorry, I'm, I'm back. Um, I just had a knock at the door. I had to get a package. Um, I apologize for that. I also forgot to push pause on this. So some time went by. Uh, it doesn't look like anything happened though. So yeah, I do apologize. In fact, I probably should stop recording. I did plan to record some other things. On Stony Stepped. Okay, so still some wars with the vassals and stuff. But yeah, I did only plan to record for a little bit. But I'm actually enjoying this. I want to see what happens. I want to keep playing. It's so annoying. I have other things to record for you guys as well. Okay, yep, we're going to have a trouble. Dan, excellent. He's 26 as well. And he is attractive. Okay. There's some good marriages we managed to get. Here we go, Rickon. She's not pregnant yet, though. Mira's only had one baby. Uh, Asher's still not married. He still only had daughters. I can't believe it. Let's see what's going on, actually, with the Brackens. So you can see here with the Brackens, uh, he has a bastard. Lots of daughters. But he also has an heir, Sir Gendry. Oh, he's changed to agnatic primogeniture, so girls cannot inherit. Okay, so he saved it then. But that probably will lead to a lot of uh, rebellions. 
She's married normally and she's pregnant. So is she. Wow. There's going to be a lot of claimants to those Bracken lands. The Great John was released. Oh, the Great John was released. That's nice. I respond very well to my tuition. Excellent. Very good. That looks like the wars are over. Yeah, done. Stefan did it. And his regent, the hand of the king, is Tyrion the Imp. Okay, so Tyrion is now in control of Westeros. And he has a son who is ugly. <laughs> Lord Hector Lannister. That's not, that's not looking good then for the Westlands down there. Oh, Edmund the Lude is now ill. Nope, he's not ill anymore, but he's wounded. Okay. Asa, the weak, craven daughter. Let's make you good with numbers then. How about that? Okay. I'd like to see who Dawn goes to. You could give it to men. There's many choices there. I guess the Yon Woods. Uh, the Yon Woods is a young girl at the moment. Probably not a good choice. The Ullers, maybe? Edric Dane. Hmm, he's only 24. Could be a good choice, though. A spy sneaking around my castle. Um, well, I am Greg of the Good. Just, I am just and kind. Uh, carve out his eyes, because I have wrath. Even though I'm wrath, I don't think that would affect his hair. I'm honourable. Um, I'm not concerned. Behead him. I will kill him with my bare hands. I'm not concerned. You have a woman here. She could. 33. There's some good choices there. God's Grave, Illyrian. Maybe him it could go to. And there you go, he's giving it to Danes. That is interesting. Okay, so he decided to give it to the Danes. Edric Dane. Yeah, but he's ill at the moment. Devastating winter. That's interesting, actually, yeah. Our unlanded son, of course. Okay, yeah. We have peace for once. How are things going down here in the Stepstones? Ooh, looks like he's... He's taken over quite a bit. Let's have a look then. What what counts as your kingdom? Ooh, he's basically taken everywhere. I never normally see that. Normally someone makes the kingdom of the stepstones, they never bother to take everything. Just this last one looks like it remains. Salad the San, you are doing a good job. And you're at war. A revolt, okay. He's 52 though. His heir doesn't look anything special. To be honest. What's the matter with his other one? Child of Concubine. Okay. He only has 5,000 men. Okay. That's not really many. Okay. My, ch my child is good with numbers. I guess Bess is probably the best choice. Yeah. Everyone's pretty bad to be honest. Let's go with Bess though. She's my daughter. She is the mother of her, to be honest. But yeah, we've got some good marriages going. North and the Vale. Just need a baby. Come on, Talia. Come on, Talia. Give us that baby. Oh, wow. Um, oh, he's a bastard son. Shira Glover. Damn it. <laughs> of course he's not. He needs a matrilineal marriage. Yeah. He's not an idiot. Unlike some people. Of course. But it's always good when, you know, someone goes to a different court. As you can see, Robert still still not married. Still not even bothered to get married yet. Oh, looks like the Lannisters are here. I hope that's it. Yeah, looks like the Riverlands have taken care of them. Edmund Tully has done good to protect himself, I have to admit. During the outcomes of this war, he may have betrayed the Starks in the end for his own neck. I mean, he, I, I guess he had to, but he's done very well at being able to keep his lands. He's done a good job. Even if it meant he had to betray the North and rob Stark. Ah, the King of the North. One day, maybe. 
one day. Maybe that can happen. But hopefully if we can get Rick on, if we can get pregnant, um, we can have a baby with Rick on. That means we'll have the blood of the foresters and the Starks flowing in our veins. Iron from ice, as they say. Now, one thing that's disappointed me is we don't have our sword. Um, obviously, we in the in the game you have the sword that Gregor gives you. Now, I don't know if that's a Valerian steel sword. I don't think they say it is a Valerian steel sword, but it still would have been nice for them to have included it. I can't remember if it had a name though. Maybe it didn't have a name. That's why. And it hasn't really appeared since, to be honest. But still, it would have been nice to have it. There we go. Brienne has taken over. If she was to die, Stefan would take back the Stormlands. And she's ill. And she's a celibate. So probably we'll just go back. Okay. Good for you, Brienne. So the capital of Dawn is now in Starfall. Okay. Ariana was executed by King Stefan. Poor Ariana. Okay, wow. These Lannisters have been pretty ruthless in uh, their, uh, their dealings. She's still in jail. Oh, this one inherited. Her son, who's a White Hill. <gasps> no! The White Hills. <laughs> the White Hills will inherit this. Damn them. Oh, Edric Landform died suspiciously. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's make his son just a, just a choice. You know, he still has a weak claim on the Kingdom of the Iron Throne. Our maester has died. Wow. Gregor is outliving all the people we know, basically. Commissioner Sulpture. But at least in this one as well, we still have, we're all still alive. Look at this. We're a happy family again. Aisha's back. All my family are married except him. Happy days. Who's our new maester? Mr. Harwin. He's a Westerman. Okay. And the gnome is designated as Blackgrove Regent. Ryan. Do you know what? I, I agree. You should be the regent. Yeah. I'll designate you as regent. That's fine. 